one thing about me in the back country I'm always eating so usually you can most pictures of me have I got something squirreled away in my cheek crossed right there so I randomly met up with those guys who I happened to to know and have skied with before they were setting in a skin track so I took advantage we lapped that slope like crazy now we're gonna head up to a lake I can catch up with Matt and Pat Hey, I'm taking it slow so I don't have to do the work here. They're skinning out a nice trail, breaking through a good foot of fresh stuff. Most of this came in late in the day yesterday, I think. It's been unloading up here. So anytime I have these skis on my snow bike. Moto heads are always asking me, how do you get up to your machine again? I guess they assume I park and I ski down, and but there's no one there to pick me up. But I got these. Let's show them. The blue things got the skins on. If you're unfamiliar, with backcountry travel, backcountry skiing. You put that on, see the heel unhinges for walking. And then when we get up and go into down downhill mode, I'll clip in. There's some pegs that my heel clips into, and then it works like a regular downhill ski. So, long time ago with the first snow bike I ever had I tried coming up this trail once and ended up it was so thick on either side one big tree across it I turned around and gave up but fire crews have been thinning up here so I don't see any reason right now I can't snow bike up here I enjoy backcountry skiing though. Enjoy the fitness part of it. And the friends I could go out with today are backcountry skiers, so. Get your silky out. <laughs> Story about right here. No. Maybe it's a little bit farther up. Um, in the, in about like 1993, I was living in, my parents lived in Boise yeah. and we, my brother and I, mid or maybe late October, we decided we wanted to go fishing up here at the lake. Okay. And uh, how'd you know about it back then? I just look at a map. Okay. Old old school Forest Service map. Yeah. And so, where it's like a nice fall day, you know, and we had oh someone's been snow camping right there. Yeah, that's the snow camping spot we found. Yeah, well, cut to the chase. My brother and I end up in some massive blizzard up here, wow. hiking, and what time of year? we it was late October, late October okay. and we camped overnight right here, one of the coldest nights ever. What? We couldn't get a fire started. Were you intending on camping? We wanted to make it to the lake and camp. We weren't expecting snow though. Yeah. And 
it was like right back there where that snow camp is yeah. and we it was so cold and all since we didn't have a it seemed like our stove was having problems too so we were eating these circus crackers those pepto bismol looking ones yeah yep. <laughs> that's all we were eating oh, man. but then the next day it broke like this it was nice and sunny and we hiked up to the lake it was beautiful oh nice and so you were in uh your would you have been um early 20s yeah we were in college yeah. and we so our thunderbird is this rear wheel drive pos yeah and so we're driving up anthony lakes and started to spin and out everywhere the snow was getting worse oh, man. we put chains on and we parked basically alongside the highway down there <laughs> and then we started hiking and we just knew we weren't going to make the lake it was just kept getting worse and worse <laughs> complete bs article and i was blaming the blaming the employees for goofing around so somebody actually like fell off the chair the whole chair fell off i mean they were on the chair and the whole chair fell off yeah luckily it fell the opposite direction <laughs> so you, yeah it was three or four inches less than this see these trees here yeah how flag they are they're not horrible but some avalanches have hit this See that tree, that tree, that tree, that tree? Yeah. They weren't the biggest avalanches ever, but definitely this side's probably cornice fall or something, trigger something that goes. Oh yeah, okay. So it's definitely an avalanche slope, but see those trees over there are not flagged out on the slope. Yeah. Yeah. Like if this went big, those would be gone. Yeah. Um, like this one, see this one's flagged here? It's definitely more gentle uh, off the left there when you find out those trees. But if it slid all the time from high, that little tree wouldn't be there anymore. In fact, that little tree probably won't be there forever. That thing's gonna get snapped off someday. But I like, it'd be nice to do a first run to jump on it some. Yeah, we could yeah. we could just go up part way and then do a run. Do a shallow run. Yeah. yeah. So it's definitely sketchier today, so I told Pat that's probably what we would end up doing. If we could do a run right below those trees, roughly straight to here or that way. Yeah. I would be game for that, but the pro problem is we're hiking up all together under the same slope. I'd kind of like to take a run from right about there. Just hanging out here. I don't want to all be on that slope. This whole thing could go. A lot of new snow in here. Do it for the TikTok. Oh. This is easy, huh? What are you what are you doing? You hitting one of those jumps down there? Yeah. Do any jumps down in the back under you kinda of, kinda of tried some of those last time and it didn't really work. Lower. So I'm up. Twist the heel. Boots into downhill mode. Rip ski. 
again. Prep skin. Holster skin. All right, second ski locked and loaded. Rip skin. That was rough. All right, I'm dropping. All right, here we go. I count six turns you made. <laughs> yeah, six is great turns. Oh! I fell out of both my skis. What's going on here? I got everything packed full of snow. Note to sell. Put my ski in. Yeah. Go around. Yeah. Well, I'm just telling you that's steep enough to slide and it's going to be a big slab if it does. Yeah. And you're going right up to a spot that's probably got wind loaded. The snow, the winds were coming right over the top of this thing the day before. And then yesterday they would have been coming from probably the side coming across this whole area. Nice. Oh, it's a cross there. From here to the other side of the lake? Yeah. Oh, oh. That's good. Um, yeah, that could be close to 30 minutes. I don't know, I think you'll be through this stuff in a few minutes. Yep. Alright, I'm ready to drop. Yep. I didn't hear anything on the radio. You didn't? Radio check. Did you turn yours off? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't try to. Huh. Yeah, I'll check it when I get down. I'll make sure it's back on. It might be my radio. I wonder if my battery fell off. Oh. Yeah, it was off. Radio check. All right, I'm dropping. Did you leave a glove down there at the transition? <laughs> Something down there, it looks like a, maybe it's a tree.
Yep, it's a tree. Looking good though. Good skin. Yeah, thanks for the wax. Let me get another half lap in and go home. What are you doing, a half lap? What? Are you doing a half lap? No, I'm just gonna take video of it Oh. Yeah, you gotta get the footy. Yeah. Nothing more important than that. Stand right in the middle of an avalanche zone and get your footy. Sound like a rock. Yeah. Did you hit a rock? What was that sound? Another rock. <laughs> that was a rock that I heard. Yeah, I saw I saw something, and I'm like, that's probably a rock. So I, <laughs> I moved my legs wide, and I still hit it. And you were unfazed though. You just kept skiing like nothing. The ground. Right. Do you you could see that that made a big difference. <laughs> Did you feel like it made I a heard difference? rock? No, you didn't. <laughs> Did you feel like it made a big difference? Oh yeah. yeah. It get, I had a lot of ice oh. on the bottom. Yeah. I think I, I had melted down there in the sun, <sighs> and I had a ton of ice stuck on there. Oh yeah. yeah. That was a nice rail Definitely grind. Really I'm, I'm gonna do it at the top of the next run. See, where, what did I get this time? This huge one you gave me right there. Yeah, Who did? Like under my foot, Who? there's some new stuff. Like I, on, when I gave you the skis? Yeah, there's like this, the huge gouge is already in here. Uh -huh. Oh, it's probably this one right here, you can see it. It's more mm -hmm. superficial. I don't recall hitting any rocks. All right, now I'm dropping. We'll see you guys later. Well, you guys have fun. Getting heckled. Gummy worms, I think I can make this. I'm gonna go into uh, walk mode with my boots. Do a lot of pulling. Skating. <clears throat> hmm. 
definitely a battle skiing out of here. But I am, I believe, at the old trailhead. Burnt trees. 